Hello everyone, my name is Hannah and welcome to this vlog. So it's been quite some time since I've uh, filmed. It's been like a few weeks since I've uploaded anything too. Um, and that's really just because I have been really distracted in part by like work and also in part by uh, the state of the world. So I was really distracted and my brain was just completely preoccupied with everything else. And I just have not had the energy to be on camera or even edit myself on camera but today is the start of a new week basically today i kind of wanted to film like a day in my life type of vlog that's kind of what i'm leaning towards slash a reading vlog because for the first time in months i actually feel like reading a book i feel like my conscience is just like clearer for some reason <laughs> i just have less on my mind even though i'm still as busy as i was three weeks ago i just have less on my mind and <laughs> i feel like i have the brain power and uh, the capacity to actually read something again so i really want to do that today but like i said i also have a lot of work to do so i thought i might as well just like take you along with me on my day i say take you along with me i'm not going anywhere um, because quarantine and also um, because I just don't go anywhere anyway. <laughs> but I do have work to do. I desperately need to do some like housekeeping, like clean my room and stuff. So I'll probably do that later while I listen to some um, books. And yeah, I'm probably just mostly gonna listen to audiobooks today. But yeah, I hope this video is somewhat enjoyable for you to watch. So let's just go about my day and let me tell you about my plans. So first things first, um, it's currently almost 10 a.m. and that's because I got up late. I usually wake up a lot earlier than this, but um, I got up late today because I was super distracted and lying in my bed this morning scrolling through Instagram and Twitter for like two hours. So I still have to have breakfast and then I have a meeting at 11 a.m. Um, so I have to get dressed <laughs> and look at least presentable from like the waist up so I can have that meeting and um, I'm very excited about it. I can't talk about it, which I know is like the most annoying thing a YouTuber can ever say, like when they're like, I have such exciting news, but I can't tell you about it for like three more years. So I understand that that's very annoying, but it is a very exciting meeting and it is something I will be able to tell you all about in the future. But yeah, right now the agenda is just have breakfast, have my meeting, and then start cleaning up my space. Um, the book that I'm planning on listening to while doing all of that is an audiobook I've been listening to for like months. I just haven't picked it back up again. And that's classic when you land by elizabeth acevedo i started reading this literally in the last reading vlog that i uploaded like i don't even know when that was maybe august maybe before then july i don't know it's time doesn't exist anymore okay it's not real i've read more of it since then i just haven't finished it i have like two hours of it left and i'll be able to finish that today for sure um so i definitely want to read that one and then i have some other books on here so we can pick something else later in the day but i really feel like catching up on all the books that i just haven't been reading for the past year so hopefully we get some reading progress done as well but yeah for now i'm just gonna um get dressed and then have breakfast so that i'm prepared for my meeting and then I'll check in with you guys after that. Hello everyone, before we get into the rest of today's video, I do want to quickly thank today's sponsor, which is Function of Beauty. I've worked with Function of Beauty before to talk about their hair care line, but they just recently launched their own completely customizable skincare line. You just take a very short quiz that lets you fill out your skincare goals or needs, and your skin type, skin sensitivity, and then it gives you your own custom set of skincare products for you to use, as well as getting to choose the name that's printed on the bottle, so everything about it is like completely customizable and very specific to you. For me personally, I have very dry skin, so my skincare goals were hydrating and anti-aging. That's what I always choose. My skin is really sensitive, so I always like to make sure that my products are fragrance-free, which this line does allow you to choose a fragrance-free option, which I was so happy about. And I chose a jelly cleanser and a cream moisturizer because, like I said, my skin is very dry. So I like to have my products be as hydrating as possible, and the cream and the jelly cleanser really help with that. I've definitely noticed a difference in how moisturized my skin is. My skin is so much more moisturized, especially now that it's winter and my skin gets dried out really, really easily. But having like this really nice thick cream moisturizer has been super helpful. So that's been like my favorite product, I think. It's also just like a super simple skincare routine. It's just three products. So it's just three easy steps. And the ingredients they use in their products are great because they are 100% cruelty free and vegan and they have no toxins, parabens, GMOs, anything like that. If you ever need to change up your products, you always can. If the climate changes or you move to a different type of climate or it's a new 
season. You can always switch up your products so that way you can adjust to your skin regardless of your situation. So if you're looking to try out a new completely customizable skincare routine, I definitely recommend trying out the Function of Beauty skincare line. I have a link in the description box to get 20% off as well as a free selfie headband if you click on the link now. I really like the selfie headband. It says do you on it when you look in the mirror and it's adorable. But once again, a huge thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video and without any further ado, let's get back into the vlog. All right, hello. I got my breakfast. I also got some mandarins because I have been obsessed with these lately. I can eat like a whole bag of them a day. <laughs> That's beside the point. Anyway, um, so I felt really scattered this morning because I woke up late and I'm not used to waking up late. Like I'm always at least awake and ready like two hours before I have an appointment for anything because um, my anxiety just functions like that. But I got dressed, put on earrings. We're good, we're ready to go. I even have tea. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm like so nervous. I get like this every single time I have a meeting or anytime I have to like interact with people. <laughs> and it's not like social anxiety because I actually don't have social anxiety, but it's like anytime it's like a meeting, like it's, it's something like official. I just get like unbelievably stressed out and anxious. Um, even though this is a person I've spoken to before, like we've been in like contact for a long time. We've literally had a meeting like this before. So I'm definitely less anxious than the first time I had a meeting. Still, like, I don't think it's ever gonna go away no matter what I do, <laughs> but I'm still really excited because like I said, I can't talk about what the actual thing is, which I know is super annoying, but I will be able to eventually and hopefully soonish. I can't even say that. I don't even know when, <laughs> but it is something I'm super excited about. I don't want to talk about it too much. I just don't want to jinx anything. <laughs> but recently, like I said, the past few weeks, especially, I've been super, super busy. Um, and that's because I've been getting to do like some really cool things that I'm very excited about and excited to share. So I've had like a lot of work, <laughs> um, real work. And I think that's kind of what inspired me to make this vlog anyway, um, in part because I actually felt like reading and I was like, I'm gonna vlog it. If I feel like reading, I'm gonna vlog it. Maybe it'll motivate me to read more. Hopefully it will. But also because like I've actually been doing like work beyond just editing and uploading and stuff. So um, I just thought it would be fun to share. Um, even though I can't like share details about things, I just thought it would be fun to share like what my life is like because my life has kind of changed a little bit even though it hasn't changed at all, really. I don't know. I need to eat this quickly because it's starting to get soft. <laughs> I don't really talk about this online, but I do get a lot of questions like, what is your job? Like, do you work? Do you do anything outside of YouTube? Um, and YouTube is my job. Like, this is my sole source of income. Um, not nearly enough to live off of because I don't make enough content and don't have enough views for that to even be possible. But it is my job. And I have been trying to take it more seriously recently and trying to, like, actually pursue this kind of as a career, which terrifies me. And it might sound weird to some people because like, you might think that I already do see this as like my career or whatever, but I've never actually considered it that until recently where I'm like, maybe, maybe this is what I am going to do if I actually try at it. Yeah, that is kind of scary and definitely wouldn't be the only thing I would be relying on, hence sponsorships, hence collabs with other companies and stuff. But it is a good avenue to accomplish or do some of the things that I do eventually want to do. Plus, I also just love creating content and talking to people. It's genuinely fun for me. But yeah, the influx of like work that I've been doing has been very much related to the fact that I'm trying to take this more seriously, despite the fact that I still don't have an uploading schedule and I just inconsistently upload all the time and you never know when you're gonna get a new video. So I'm gonna work on that, okay? Please don't hate me. But with trying to do YouTube full time comes a lot of stress and anxiety and fear um, that I have always kind of been prepared for because um, I'm always anxious about everything anyway. So there's nothing that I haven't really thought about when it comes to um, the stress that I feel around this. But I feel like it's all just like good stress and anxiety, like stress and anxiety like I want to have in my life. It's the, it's the fear of like going after something you want and not knowing if you'll be able to get it or if you'll be able to achieve it or be successful or whatever, but you're still willing to like risk it because you enjoy it or you love it or it means something to you. So that's kind of where I'm at. And it's just been really nice to like I don't know, have goals, have things to look forward to again, because I feel like that's something I just have not had for so long. And it just feels really, really nice to like 
want something again. Um, so yeah, as afraid as I am, I just know that I'm gonna try my best and whatever happens, happens, and a lot of it is not up to me, but there are parts of it that are up to me. And I'm gonna do my best to make sure that I do my best at those things. So yeah, that's just something I wanna talk about a little bit. Um, I feel like I have not really talked about it at all. I Sometimes I just feel like I say way more online than I actually do. I feel like you guys are just in my head, so you know what I'm thinking. And then I realize I've never actually talked about a lot of things. And then I realize that people don't actually know some of these things about me or some of my ideas or plans or whatever. So yeah, um, I just want to talk about that a little bit because it is like a significant thing in my life, deciding to um, pursue YouTube full time and take it more seriously is definitely uh, changing my life a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about it and I'm really excited about the future, which is so weird to say but I genuinely feel that way. I do. I actually have hope. Who is she? <laughs> anyway, so it's like 10.30 now, 10.32. So I have about 30 minutes before my meeting. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna eat these <laughs> and probably just look at some of the um, notes and stuff that I've taken, uh, things that I wanna talk about. Mostly, I think it's just gonna be me having to answer questions, but um, there are still some things I'm definitely gonna wanna bring up and talk about. So um, yeah, I am just gonna prep a little bit and then um, I'll check in with you after the meeting because I'm not gonna like, obviously not gonna talk to the camera while I'm having a meeting. <laughs> but yeah, I will check in afterwards and let you all know how it went. So see you soon. <laughs> I finished my meeting like two hours ago at this point. <laughs> it went really well. Um, I did get super, super anxious like the 10 minutes before it was supposed to start because that's just who I am. Um, but it went really well and it was good. It was not super long. It was only about half an hour. And then I just did some work for about an hour or so. I just needed to um, like get some stuff done like right away so that I don't procrastinate and put it off. So um, I did a little bit of work and that was nice, responded to a couple of emails. But for now, I think I'm gonna start just like cleaning up my room and my space a bit. So like I mentioned earlier, my room is like an absolute mess. Like <laughs> I did laundry and stuff and I just haven't put anything away and I haven't put my duvet cover back onto my actual comforter. So I really need to do that. So yeah, I gotta do that. I have to like dust, which I hate doing like actually clean my room. I just vacuumed, but I have to vacuum again. And I just, uh, I never wanna do it. And that's why I always put it off. But this is good motivation to do it, to get my life together so that we can start off this week with like a fresh clean room and a nice clean space um, so we can move forward from there. So yeah, I'm gonna um, do that now. Listen to some of that audiobook. Hopefully I at least do a good amount of it. If I could at least just like clear off the clothes from the pile on my chair that has just become so big that it, there's no more room for clothes anymore. Which honestly, I don't understand why I even have so many clothes on this chair. I don't go anywhere. So like, how did this even happen? Where did they come from? <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try and make a little bit of progress on that and then um, hopefully make a lot of progress on the book and then I'll get some lunch and we'll see what I'll do with the rest of the day. I really don't know. I have no plans. Also, every time I film these videos, I always am so worried that they're just gonna be so incredibly boring. Um, but I hope that at the very least, like maybe this is um, helpful for you or motivational for you to like do your work along with me. If you need to clean up your space or if you have some um, emails or homework or like anything that you need to do, maybe you can just like do it alongside me and get some work done as well. Um, just like read some of the book that you've been meaning to read as well. Um, maybe this vlog can just be there to comfort you or just keep you company as you have to do any of those things. So yeah, anyway, I just get like really worried that like it's boring and nobody's gonna care. But I am trying my best to not be dismissive of the things that I do and create. So um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you find this enjoyable. Anyway, I'm gonna go clean my room and I'm gonna start listening to the audiobook. <laughs> Okay, 
so um, I ended up cleaning a decent amount of my room. I put all the clothes away and everything, so that's good. My chair is finally a chair again. I can sit on it. I still need to put my duvet cover on my comforter so I can, you know, clean my bed up and everything. Um, but besides that, my room is pretty much okay. I just gotta vacuum and do that and I'll be good. But now it's way later and I am hungry. So I'm gonna make lunch. Um, oh, and also I forgot to mention, I finished reading the book. <laughs> I've been listening to this one on like 2.5 speed or something like that. Um, so it went by much faster than two hours, obviously. So it took me about 45 minutes-ish to finish reading it and clean up the rest of my room. And um, I'm so happy I finally finished a book. The last book I finished was literally like two months ago. <laughs> also, I just re-downloaded Goodreads for the first time in literally seven months, which is Ooh, uh, a lot. But I looked at my reading challenge because I forgot what my reading challenge was for the year because I've like literally not been reading or using Goodreads at all. Um, and my reading challenge is 50 books. I have read nine books. Do you see this? Do you see how sad this is? <laughs> I'm 33 books behind the schedule. I'm not gonna read 50 books. I'm changing my reading goal. I'm literally gonna change it to 10 books. <laughs> I can't believe I've only read nine books this year. That's so ridiculous to me. Not that that's like a bad thing. I don't care if other people only read nine books or only read one book, but it's just so weird because like for the past several years, I've been reading like 50 plus books a year. I think in 2018, I read like a hundred books. I don't even know, it was a lot. Um, but yeah, nine is <laughs> so weird for me. So if you're wondering why I make so much less book content, um, it's because I'm not reading as much. I just haven't been in the mood to read. And like, honestly, I don't really mind that. Like sometimes I feel like I really need like a long break from reading books in order to feel like reading again. And if I just like read back to back to back, like nonstop for like five years straight, I'm gonna get burned out. And obviously I did, because this is the fifth year I've been making booktube videos. So it was about time for me to get burnt out for a little bit. But now I'm finally starting to feel that desire to read come back a little bit. Um, so yeah, I, I'll probably, hopefully film some more reading vlogs and stuff, um, in the coming weeks because after finishing that, I now just like really want to read something really good. Um, so hopefully I, I will pick up the books that I've been meaning to read for like two years now. <laughs> As for my thoughts on Clap When You Land, I love Elizabeth Acevedo's writing. I loved her last book a lot. Uh, the Poet X was so good. This one, I feel like it's probably in part because of the time that I read it, like the fact that it took me like five or six months to read it because I just didn't like end up finishing it and I had such long gaps in between. I think that probably impacted the way that I feel about it. I thought it was good. I just thought it was okay in my opinion. Um, I thought the story was really good and her writing is really good, but overall I just felt like kind of disconnected from it. And again, like I said, I think that's more of just a me thing and me not being in the mood to read very much type of thing. So um, yeah, I ended up not giving it a rating. I'd probably like, based on my own feelings, give it about like a three, something like that. But that doesn't mean that it's not good or that someone else won't enjoy it. I just personally, for me, the mood I've been in, it was okay to me. Um, but I did like aspects of it a lot. And again, her writing is exceptional. So yeah, that's how I feel about the book. But um, like I said, this really did motivate me to want to read more. Like I really just want to read something really good now because um, it's been so long <laughs> since I've read a really good book. The last one I read was um, In the Dream House by Carmen Marie Machado. Finished that one and it's exceptional. <laughs> um, and I really need something like that again, but this time fiction. So uh, hopefully I will pick something up that I really love soon. And I kind of want to start something else today too because it's literally only 2.30. I have a lot of hours left of this day. So maybe we'll decide on something after I have lunch. <laughs> As for lunch, I have no idea what I'm eating. <laughs> um, I don't know what to make, so I'm gonna figure that out. And then we'll sit down and decide on a book. I have a couple other audiobooks on my phone already, so um, I might download one of those and just start listening. I have King of Crows on here and I really, really need to finish the Diviners series, so maybe I'll start with King of Crows next, but we'll see. So I was gonna make something fancy and like really nice and good. Um, and then halfway through boiling the water, I got really tired and I was like, you know what? We're going with instant ramen. <laughs> so I just made some ramen with some tofu. It's still good. I still like ramen, so it's fine. But I was gonna actually like cook and then I got really tired. <laughs> but anyway, this is still good since it's super cold today. Um, this is gonna definitely keep me warm. But in the meantime, I think I'm gonna listen to King of Crows. Like I said, I think I'm gonna actually, 
I might actually finish the Diviners series. God, this audiobook is 22 hours long. Oh, this is gonna kill me. <laughs> All right, there we go. I've got King of Crows. Ready to start this 22 hour and 21 minute journey um, of finally finishing this series. I'm probably gonna have to look things up halfway through because it's been so long since I've read The Diviners. It's been like two years or maybe more. So yeah, I'm gonna start listening to this, eat my ramen, um, and yeah, hopefully make some progress. I don't know what I'm gonna do later today, but um, I'll update once I'm done with my lunch. Hello everyone. So it's like a couple days later. <laughs> I actually had planned to just make this video like a one day follow me around like day in my life type of vlog but um a couple of things came up that afternoon and then like the next day so I couldn't really film but now it's like two days later. I don't even remember the last time I filmed <laughs> but I did want to continue that vlog because um I still feel like reading and I still have like other things I wanted to do. Yeah basically today I still have some like cleaning up and stuff I need to do for my room um but I also wanted to continue reading and update you on what I did read. I listened to about three or four hours of the um King of Crows audiobook. I did start it and I'm very excited. It's taking me a bit to get back into the world because it has been years since I've read the last book so I don't remember where we left off quite honestly um so I have been like looking things up every once in a while but for the most part I feel like I generally have an understanding of what was going on at least with the major plot and everything else I can pick up pretty quickly um so it's going pretty well I'm enjoying the book so far not super far into it like I mentioned earlier it's like 22 hours long and I think I have like 18 hours left or something like that but yeah um today I was actually gonna film a different video like I'd planned out filming something but I don't know if I'm gonna have the energy I also don't know if the lighting is good enough because it's really foggy and really dark today um despite the fact that this is lit pretty well I don't know if it'll work well if I film like over there with my whole setup and everything I might do that later we'll see <laughs> I will probably listen to my book throughout that and I'll just bring you along with me Hello everyone, so this is voiceover Hannah coming in to um, let you know that the clip that I filmed right before this clip was taken is somehow just missing from my camera. So instead you're going to get a voiceover explanation of why I decided to read The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab instead. Um, I've been wanting to read this book for such a long time and I really just felt like reading a physical book uh, later that day. So I decided to just pick this up and finally like get started on actually making some progress in it because I've been wanting to read it for so long like I said um but yeah I just wanted to come in real quick and let you know that um part way through the day I decided to start reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue so that's why you're gonna see me starting to read this book anyway back to the reading and me in the vlog that made no sense you know what I'm saying okay goodbye <laughs> all right hello so, um, I have read about 50 pages now, which is super nice. We got to like the main thing that needed to happen at the beginning. I feel like I didn't really explain what this book is about. <laughs> All I really know about it is that it's about this girl named Addie LaRue, obviously, from the 1700s who makes a deal with the devil basically to like live forever, kind of? I think that's the deal that she makes. That's the part that I just got to. I just like read what the deal was but it was very vague like it just was made so I don't even think she really knows what she just got into um but I think basically she just like lives forever because the story is told in two timelines so it takes place in 1714 and 2014 so it's like 300 years apart and also what I know of the consequences of this deal are also just like in the summary so this isn't spoilery um but the consequences of the deal are that every time she meets somebody they always forget her like instantly forget her after she leaves they just never remember her um and I think one day she meets somebody who actually remembers her name and she doesn't understand why. Um, so yeah, that's basically what the story is about. That's what I know of it. And from what I've read so far, there's not much new information that you don't already get in the summary since I am at the very beginning, but 50 pages is a pretty decent amount of progress. So um, I'm happy. The book is a total of 400 and... Thir no, 440 something? 442 pages. So um, it's actually not super long. I don't want to say I can finish it today because I don't know if I have that much drive to keep reading. It depends on how intense this gets and how invested I get in it, um, but it is definitely manageable. I will at least I think make it through like halfway 
maybe? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but so far, I am really liking it. It's super nice to be reading a Victoria Schwab book again because I love her writing, as we all know, and I deeply, deeply missed it. <laughs> and this one's a romance, and I love romance. And V.E. Schwab writing romance into her books is very new since she doesn't really write a lot of romance. Um, and this was her first, like, real um, attempt at that. Um, and I'm very, very excited to see how it goes. So, yeah, um, that's the progress I've made. That's generally speaking what the book is about. And I'm very excited to continue on. Um, right now it's like noon. What time is it? Yeah, 1216. So um, I'm probably gonna go get lunch and continue reading this right now because um, I am a bit hungry. So yeah, let's go do that and keep reading and I'll update you on any more of my thoughts. <music> many updates for you. So I had lunch as you saw and then I decided because the lighting in my room was okay that I would film a video also because I had like the energy and motivation. So I filmed a video uh, which is exciting. I don't know if you'll see that before this or not. I don't know what I'm uploading first. Probably hopefully this um, but maybe that we'll see. Anyway, I filmed that video and I'm so so happy that I filmed that video um, because I've been wanting to film it for so long and I just haven't been able to convince myself that I should. Even though I've wanted to, I've just been so self-doubty about it, but it's done. So even if I decide to scrap it, like it's still filmed, you know? Like I at least did it. Anyway, feeling great about that. Now I want to get back to reading because I'm still like only on page 55 or something like that. I didn't read that much while I was eating because I just got distracted by eating and it was too hard to keep my book open. So yeah, I'm gonna read some more now and hopefully, maybe I'll read like another 50 or so pages, get to page 100 so that I feel like I've like made some real progress in this book, um, at least be like a quarter of the way through or so. And then I'll update you guys once I have read some more, let you know some of my thoughts on it. I just really want this book to make me feel something, like please let me cry. <laughs> Okay, sorry, quick update. <laughs> I was going to continue reading Addie LaRue, but I actually really just need to uh, clean up my room because it's like a mess from filming. Um, also, my bed's like a disaster. So um, I'm actually going to listen to some more of my audiobook first, King of Crows by uh, Libba Bray first, um, while I do that because I think it's just going to be more productive. <laughs> um, otherwise, I won't be able to read and I just really need to clean up my space for now. So um, I'm gonna do that for now so quick change of pace quick change of book <laughs> um so I'll do that for a bit and then um, I'll update you once I've cleaned up my space a little bit and then I get back to reading Addie LaRue <laughs> forgot that I'm gonna make dinner tonight so I have to do that um, before I can get back to reading so I thought we'd take a quick little cooking break we're gonna do some cooking with Hannah I've actually been wanting to make an entire series of like cooking videos on my channel because I recently got super into cooking I'm gonna get stuff while I'm talking because I'm running behind but I don't think I've talked about it like at all on my channel 
but um, I used to be like really afraid of cooking. I didn't cook anything at all because I um, associated with my eating disorder had this problem when it came to like cooking food for myself especially. So I just never cooked food and I didn't like doing it. It literally like scared me. I thought I wasn't capable of it. But recently I've gotten super into cooking and I like really love it now um, and I'm pretty good at it which is really nice <laughs> um, so yeah I have been wanting to make like an entire like cooking video series on my channel um, which I've like kind of planned out and maybe hopefully we'll do one day are both of these time no oregano and time we've got two <laughs> so yeah I might do that so let me know if that's something you're interested in but today for dinner I am making butternut squash butternut squash <laughs> pasta which I made before and um, it's really good I've made it twice before oh my god why is this sticky what is on it I do not like that okay it's fine now so yeah I'm making butternut squash pasta um it's basically just like a butternut squash sauce um, with like parmesan cheese in it on pasta it's really good if you want to make it vegan you just don't have to put parmesan cheese in it or I'm sure you can use like nutritional yeast or something like that in it but I love parmesan cheese so I'm putting that in it um, and it's super easy to make the only problem is that it takes some time also I'm really slow when it comes to um, chopping things and I have to cut up this butternut squash and that's gonna take me a little bit <laughs> but I'm not gonna talk too in detail about what I'm doing so I will literally just leave um, a link to the recipe that I used in the description box if you want to make it as well it's technically two recipes and I just combine them because I don't follow recipes I just make up my own things as I go or I just take bits and pieces of other people's recipes <laughs> usually the first time around I'll like follow a recipe and then the next time I just kind of like do what feels right. So I've been doing what feels right. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's chop up some butternut squash and start making the food. Um, I had dinner, made dinner, my camera died in the middle of me cooking it, which was unfortunate, so I didn't get to show you the whole process, but I am finally done and now ready to sit down and read. I do have to take off my makeup and stuff first, so I'm gonna go and do that and then get comfy, sit down, and continue Addie LaRue. So let's do that. Hello everyone, voiceover Hannah is back. So in my typical vlog fashion, I ended up not having the energy to continue reading that night and I was just really tired. So I took off my makeup and went to bed. Um, so I'm just gonna end the vlog here instead. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I had a really good time making it. It felt really nice to just vlog again and be on camera again and just, you know, make content that I enjoy making um, and also read some books, which has been so nice. And I have a lot more reading vlogs planned now because I filmed this and I've just been wanting to read more. So I'm really excited about that as well as um, the other things I've been planning to make. But nonetheless, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I hope that it brought you some comfort or company or whatever um, you've been needing. And if you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But I hope you're all taking care of yourselves. I hope you're doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.